Okay, today we're going to go over the quiz one answers. And I want to start out by going through the um, multiple choice answers. The first one is, the, which of the following characteristics of sound is associated with loudness? Loudness is associated with C, the intensity of sound. Which of the following loudness levels is a hundred times as loud as 40 decibels? The decibel scale is a logarithmic scale so that each 10 time increase in the decibel scale is equivalent to a 10 increase in numeric addition of 10 decibels. So a 10 times increase would increase from 40 to 50. A hundred times increases from 40 to 50 to 60. A thousand times increase would be 40 to 50 to 70. So the correct answer here is 60 or B. Which of the following is associated with frequency? Frequency is associated with pitch. Pitch. Which of the following describes the sound above the audible range? Above the audible range is ultrasonic. Which of the following sound phenomena cause a change in frequency with movement of the source relative to the receiver? And that is a description of the Doppler effect. An ambulance is coming towards you. The important word here is towards you. The siren pitches at 650 at the source. Which of the following is most consistent with what you would hear? If something is coming towards you, then the frequency will increase. So you have to select an answer that's greater than 650. And in this case, it's 700. Which of the following phenomenon is caused by reflection of sound? And that one is an echo, C. Music is heard best when played at night. Which of the following explains that? This is explained in, in your text, and it's A. Sound waves bend toward a medium that slows them down. So the, in the night, the air higher up is cooler than the air below them, so it bends down toward the earth. Number nine, which of the following is defined as reverberation of the sound when exposed to a sound waves of the same frequency? And this is a description of the term resonance. And last one, which of the following is the study of sound? And that's acoustics, C. Now, a hiker shouts toward a vertical cliff 715 meters away. The sound echo is heard back 4.25 seconds later. What is the speed of sound in the surrounding air? The wavelength of sound is 0.75. What is the frequency, the period, and what is the air temperature? So in order to do this problem, first of all, you have a, a, a rock wall and a hiker, and he shouts, and it's 715 meters away. And the echo is heard 4.25 seconds later. So it has to travel to the wall and back. So the distance is going to equal 2 times 7, 715, or 1430 meters. The velocity is equal to the distance divided by the time, and the time here is 4.25 seconds. If you do the math here, you should get 336 meters per second. Velocity equals wavelength times frequency, so frequency is going to equal velocity divided by wavelength, and that's going to equal 336 divided by 0 0.75, which is equal to approximately 440 hertz. The period, which is usually abbreviated T, is equal to 1 over the frequency, so that's going to be 1 over 440, which is approximately 0 0.0022 seconds. Period is in second. The velocity of sound 
is equal to the velocity at zero degrees plus 0 0.61 times the temperature in degrees centigrade. So if we solve this for T, we get V minus V0 divided by 0 0.61 is going to equal T0. So that's going to be 336 minus 331 divided by 0 0.61 which is approximately 8.9 degrees centigrade. So there are your four answers.